Here with Lucy Greer in our Studio <laughs> 10 kitchen. Glad you're here. Thanks. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Yes. Is there anything Thanksgiving themed that we're making today? Yeah, today I thought that I would make a quick and easy side dish if all of a sudden like you have to make something else okay. or take something. This was really good throughout the holiday season. A friend that used to work with me at Greer's gave me this idea and, and I just love it. It's kind of different, but it's um, super festive. And we're going to take a shortcut from the store um, using a wild rice mix and and then we're going to add um, some cranberries and mandarin oranges and Aww. pecans. So it's really um, unique and different. And I haven't done it before, but I think it would be really good if you did some sausage, cook some sausage first, and then did this. So kind of like a wild rice dressing. So you could do it a couple different ways, but um, something kind of different if you want something different on the table. Holiday wild rice. Yeah. And it'll like be great title. through, um, you know, all the way through December. People are having parties and getting yep. together. And it's just a pretty... A pretty sad dish that um, is super different. So I'm glad that um, that I had this idea from from a friend of mine. Well, Joe, that was good for you to give her that suggestion. Yeah, yeah no, I'm teasing. Joe. No, it was it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was not Joe. <laughs> Joe is a good cook, though. <laughs> we you. do know that. Thank you. Um, so it's, we're just gonna get started on our okay. rice first. So I have two boxes of um, this Uncle Ben's wild rice right. mix, and there's also one that is quick cooking. Sometimes I'll buy that one, and it cooks in five minutes. This is the one that takes 25 minutes. So just if you happen to pick up the box that only takes five minutes, just you know. But there's be, no specific one you have to use. No. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, that's true. So if you wanted to use a different wild rice, you could totally do that. Okay. So I'm gonna there's two six ounce boxes. So I'm gonna add the rice, the seasoning packet that comes with it, and we're gonna do two cups of chicken broth or stock, and then two and three quarters cup of water. And I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of butter in there. And what level should we set this oh, at? Oh, thanks. Uh, let's bring it up to a boil so we can go high at first. So we're gonna bring it up to a boil and then we are going to reduce the heat, cover it, and simmer it for about 25 minutes, um, just until that liquid is absorbed. Did you say medium high? Um, let's go high at first. All right, so we'll put it on maximum. There we go. Yeah, so we're just gonna bring this up to a boil, and um, we're also in a bit gonna talk about uh, a good way to toast um, pecans or walnuts or any kind of nut that you want to do um, for the holiday. So we're gonna toast some pecans and put those on top of our rice. So let me ask, have the Greer stores started getting into the holiday season? Oh yes, it's so fun. I mean, the holidays are just great. You know, we um, we are doing a food drive with y'all. All of the boxes are out right now that um, part of the 10 carrying gifts mm -hmm. that we have um, with Volunteers of America and Fox 10. So all of the boxes are out there. So if you are shopping today or tomorrow or anytime through the holidays, you know, pick up some non-perishable food items, toss them in the box and the Volunteers of America um, get some to all of our our local um, people in need. So um, the holidays are super special for us. We are open at all of our locations all day today and then tomorrow on Thanksgiving we close at 1. So um, if you do need to run out tomorrow we'll be open until 1 and then everybody will be off with their family. So you do have that little window yes. just in case you forgot something. You can go to a grocery store and pick yes. it up. Yes. I like that. And then yeah. Black Friday you guys are open. Yep. We'll be open for Black Friday then nobody will probably be in there because everybody will be at the <laughs> mall. So it's actually a good time to go grocery shopping. That's also true. <laughs> now, uh, coming up later, uh, uh, later in the hour when Joe's here, what mm -hmm. is going to be the next step in the process? Okay, Lucy? we're going to um, see what the rice looks like as it's cooked, and okay. we're going to add in some final ingredients and toast up some pecans. Sounds good. Good seeing you. We'll check <laughs> in with you later in the hour, and we're going to put all the information on Greer's on Fox10TV.com right under the Studio 10 tab. Joe. So we're back. I've just learned something very disturbing. <laughs> this is disturbing. <laughs> Lucy has not seen the original Frozen. So you're the one. I'm so embarrassed. You're I the think only I'm the one. only one. Yes. At least in this country, perhaps, you know, in, several countries. In the, in, in the entire world. The entire world. The entire I, world. I know. And I was just telling Joe, I thought my kids hadn't seen it, mm -hmm. but they have. So at least my kids have there seen you it. Spiro showed it to them. Um, and the only uh, movie that we've taken them to see in the theaters was Toy Story 4. Great movie. Which was great. Yes. And they did really good. Yeah. And so I guess we need to take them to see Frozen 2. Well, you need to see the first one I know. first. Maybe this weekend. This is probably a good this weekend for me to watch. This is a good weekend. Yes. 
the first one. I okay. heard it's amazing. It, 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 is, <laughs> it is a good film for sure. Uh, All right, so we're, we want to make some good food, yeah, well, especially we, around Thanksgiving. Yes, absolutely. This is definitely the time of year um, that everybody likes to, to eat, of course, and be around the table, um, which is just, you know, the best thing that you can do is be around the table with family and friends. And uh, today we're making a really a festive wild rice. And so we got started on our rice um, and it is in here. We took some help from the store. We used two boxes of a wild rice mix. There were six mm -hmm. ounce boxes. So I put the rice, the seasoning mix that came with it, a couple tablespoons of butter. We did two cups of chicken stock and two or three quarters cup of water. And really when you're cooking rice, you don't want to stir it. You just stir it when you put it in there, but don't be opening up the pot and stirring it the whole time. That's your instinct because that's what you do with everything else you cook. But rice really needs to just be left alone. Um, and then when all of that liquid is absorbed, then it'll be done. So we brought it up to a boil, reduced it, and then I just have the lid on. Can I tell you something? What? What I like about this recipe is a lot of people, the problem with cooking Thanksgiving dinner is lack of oven space. Ah. So this is another side that you can use the stove yeah, top for. I did not even think of that. And yeah. this one comes together really quick. I mentioned that um, when you're on the rice aisle, um, there is a version of the wild rice that's quick cooking mm -hmm. and it only takes five minutes. So if you wanted to choose that one that's even quicker and it's just as good, um, I just happened to choose the box that takes 25 minutes. But that's such a great point. Um, yeah, oven space is always a challenge on Thanksgiving. We had a Thanksgiving dinner at my parents' house last mm -hmm. night, which was really fun. Ah, last night already. Yes, last night already we um, go. Getting the party started <laughs> early. <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> and uh, it was so nice. And, you know, of course, all the food was great. And, um, and everybody, you know, bring something. And that's what's fun because a lot of people talk about, um, you know, the host or hostess you know, makes a lot of the stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. like talk about pressure. It's like, oh, in our family, we always just, everybody brings something. Right. Um, so it's so fun. And um, we got the party started earlier. So we talked a little bit earlier with um, Michael about toasting. I'm gonna toast some pecans to okay. put on top. You can do walnuts or whatever you wanna do. But um, the easiest way for me to do them is you just put them in a skillet right here on the stove top. And we're just gonna put them over medium heat. You don't even have to to put anything in there unless you wanted to sprinkle a little bit of salt. You don't have to do butter or anything like that. Hmm. We're just going to toast them gently, like I said, medium heat, and it'll take, you know, five to ten minutes and you'll start to smell them when they're toasting so don't walk away from this but <laughs> while you're in the kitchen um, it's a good time to do that so we're going to toast some of those and put them on top all right so lastly before we go here mm -hmm. in this segment today is wednesday yeah. tomorrow is thanksgiving so if you're looking for all those last minute deals and what's going on and all that kind of stuff this is when you release your ads Yes, absolutely. So our Thanksgiving ad um, is still actually going on, the one yeah. that came out last Wednesday. So it'll go um, actually all day today instead of a new one coming out. But we have everything for Thanksgiving. You know, if all of a sudden you're last minute, oh no, you know, we're having it at my house. Um, we have some defrosted turkeys so you can go and you don't have to worry about that. And also a turkey breast is always a great idea. Yeah. Um, so we have everything out there for the holidays. I think you, know, you did hit, that last year on Yeah, the show. I did. I love yeah. cooking a turkey breast. You can do it in the crock pot. So go to Greer's com if you um want to look at that recipe it's really good and hit the deli um all, all of our stores that have delis we have pies and sides and all that ready to go if you don't want to cook so good to know about those turkeys if you are in need of last minute help there mm -hmm. good to know about all the other stuff and a great recipe for a quick easy side if that's something you're looking for as well lucy will be back in just a bit okay. thanks a lot all right michael Back here in the Studio 10 kitchen, finishing mm -hmm. up that holiday wild rice with yes. Lucy Greer, and we've made a lot of progress. We have. Our rice is cooked. There's a little bit of liquid still to be absorbed, but at this point, we're going to add in all our yummy finishing Ooh. touches. So I'm going to do about a cup of dried cranberries, and um, they're going to plump up with, you know, all of that hot liquid in there. And then I'm going to do a can of mandarin oranges that I just drained. I'm just going to do just a little bit of salt and pepper and I have two green onions that I just sliced up right here and we toasted some pecans. So the pecans we talked about. I just That's put over in this a, next pot here. Yep. yep. That was just in a cold skillet. So we put that over medium heat. Just let those toast and stir them around um, just for about five or ten minutes until you smell them and 
we're just going to stir this together and top it with pecans and this um, is a great option for a different kind of sad dish. It's really, really festive and yummy. And I like how you mentioned earlier that if people forget something last minute, mm -hmm. Greer's is open tomorrow during the morning, right? Yes, every store closes at one o'clock tomorrow. Okay. So if you do need something, you can run out to any Greer's and um, then everybody can go home and you know have yes. lunch and everything with their family. But we're also there for our customers too. So both are important to us and um, we want to be able to serve everybody. So this is a great um, dish. And like I mentioned, if you don't want to cook, you can go to any of our delis and pick up <laughs> pies or side dishes or um, or anything like that. And um, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank this was a Thanksgiving treat getting to have you in here yeah, the day no, before it's Thanksgiving. Fun being here. Now for people who want more info on Greer's, you can go to Greer's.com, right? Mm -hmm. And all your social pages. Yep, all of our social pages, pages Greer's.com. They can see all of our videos if they miss any Wednesdays. Perfect. Um, and I'll be here next Wednesday. I can look forward to that. <laughs> I know everyone, I know all of you look forward to that as well. And we'll put Lucy's info on Fox10TV.com under the Studio 10 tab. Have a happy Thanksgiving, Lucy. Thank you. Joe and take. I will be back to wrap things up next.